Casper businessman Pat Sweeney has announced his bid for the District 58 legislative seat. It's currently held by Tom Reeder. I want to keep in mind common sense, compassion, and co collaboration. Uh, I'm Pat Sweeney. At a kickoff gathering and press conference at the Ramcota Hotel, Sweeney said he hopes to bring more cooperative attitudes to state government. He said this business of simply saying no, no, no must end. Sweeney said the minerals extraction industry in Wyoming must be revived. But despite a state budget that's being squeezed by a downturn in that industry, he opposes the expansion of Medicaid and the money it would bring in. When asked about the state's budget shortfall, he offered no real solutions to the revenue crisis, but said it's a discussion we have to have now. There's no time to wait. Uh, tourism is a huge employer, but when it comes to that, those mineral taxes, that's what really fuels our state. We had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with Sweeney after his presentation. You had said in your uh, in your presentation that you oppose the expansion of Medicaid. Now, while I understand a business person's qualms, problems with the overall health care program, yes. didn't we leave millions and millions of dollars on the table at a time when we need it and leave people who are now out of work uncovered? I'm not sure if, yes, the millions and millions might have been there to begin with, but would they have been there even two years from now? Um, I, I, you, can, you can opt out. You, Once well, you opt out, in, you can opt out. Other states have found that that's not necessarily the case once they're in. And so the opt out, while it sounded good, I'm not believing it. But that was part of the Supreme Court decision that allowed states to not participate in the beginning. And then what's the problem with Oregon and Washington and a few other states wanting to opt back out because they're seeing the expense that's going to break their budgets in their states um, because it's unfunded mandates again. Uh, and so I, I'm sorry, I, I just don't believe that in its current current form, that it's workable, and if there even the Medicaid portion, the where well, the money is there. Honestly, I haven't studied that closely enough to be able to give you a good answer on that portion. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I I just don't think at this point in time. It's a good thing for the state of Wyoming to do, and obviously the legislature agreed with that. Where do we get the revenue? We're coming up short, and it's obviously going to probably linger for a while. Yes. What do we do? You can only cut so much. You can only cut so much, and it's scary, um, extremely scary times. Um, I obviously don't have all the answers, neither do I believe every, anybody's got all the answers. But one thing I will commit to is looking for those difficult questions on where to cut and what to do and collaborate with the, the other legislators from around the state. I believe we can grow tourism uh, even more, but we have to live within our means. Uh, tourism's not going to replace that tax revenue. It helps. Uh, but it's not going to replace the revenue that oil, gas, coal, uranium, any of the mineral, and, and trona, bentonite, the list goes on of, of, of the mineral industry. But I think we have to search for answers, and I'm willing to do that. I'm, I'm originally from Texas. We saw the, the perils of being so dependent on one source of income. Is that something Wyoming needs to think about down the road? We, um, we talk diversification in the state, and I think we have somewhat diversified. But I, and I think it'll continue with wind projects um, if they continue and continue to uh, build. Thanks, Gordon. Um, but I think that um, diversification is a great thing. 
but Wyoming with its small population, its great abilities to heal itself, um, I, I still think that of course the minerals are a huge part of that. Um, and we can diversify. Tourism will still remain strong, I believe, if gasoline prices stay down a bit. I'm more than willing to pay $3.50, $4 a gallon to put folks back to work. Um, but, you know, there's some worldwide factors there at, mm -hmm. at work against us. Um, on coal, I truly believe it's the current administration against us. Um, and we need to get that turned around. We need folks to respond to this EIS uh, and scoping uh, with written comment uh, before July 28th.